Good morning. I'm going to try to show you how to assign a Google Slideshow into your Seesaw while leaving the links live and letting kids be able to work on the slides. So here's my Slideshow I created this morning when I wasn't going to be working, but I was. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to File, and I'm going to download it as a PDF. Okay, so now I'm on a Chromebook, so this is going to just pop up that it's downloaded over here, and I'll know where to find it. I'm going to go into my Seesaw. I'm going to assign an activity. I'm going to create a new activity. And I'm going to call that Monday 3 23 home learning. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um, item that I just down the slideshow that I just downloaded, and I'm going to put it in here as an upload. I have to find it on my computer. For me, because I'm on a Chromebook, it's usually in recent, and here it is, and it's a PDF. So I'm going to open that, and it's going to upload. And this is going to be the one where the kids get to work on directly. So here's all the pages. Thank goodness for this multi-page document feature. And I'm going to save that. But I'm not done yet. This is the part that's important. I want those links to be live. So in order to do that, they need that view original option. So I am going to put it in again. Same process. Right here in my example. And when I put it here in my example, I'm not going to do anything to it. I'm just going to attach it. And you'll find out now that it's in two places. So it's here as the example attached, and it's here um, where the kids are going to work on it. And so I am just going to put sample because I'm doing this for you and I want to show you how that's going to look. And I'm going to save it. Now, normally I would be doing all the things, assigning it and everything else. But since this is just my sample, I'm going to assign it only to myself as a student. So you'll be able to kind of see, because I have myself as a student in my own class, um, I don't have sample student enabled because I had my Seesaw account probably before they ever did that option. So I don't really um, know. But here we go. Now when I pop up here into this, it's only assigned to that one student, which is me. So this is how a student would view it. One of two ways, right? They come in to add their response. Because it's me, I'm clicking in here. Here's the spot where that they do their editing. Okay, and then here is where they pop up those instructions. And if they click here, which I've made many videos to show my kids and parents, and they view original, this is where your slides pop up and your links will be live. So this is all my housekeeping stuff right here. Um, it's all, like I said, that's all housekeeping. There's no live links, but then here is my first embedded video. And you can see how it opens straight into a pop-up. And anyway, I'm not worrying about all the safety stuff or anything else. I'm, I understand that, you know, yes, I could be, but I'm not doing that. Okay. Right now I'm just trying to get something out that they work on. So I hope that helps you guys, and I'm going to stop this video right now.